Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of Just Cause 4. In today's episode I'll be showing you some new gameplay footage which I assume a lot of English speaking viewers haven't seen before. Some of you guys might already know that Avalanche and Square Enix partnered up with a bunch of YouTubers to bring you exclusive gameplay of Just Cause 4. But what I didn't realize is that there's plenty of Just Cause 4 videos for non-English speaking viewers. Shout out to the Reddit user Droddy4 for compiling a list of all of these videos. So in today's video I'll be highlighting some new gameplay features and cool new additions that we haven't seen before. But before we begin I'd really appreciate it if you guys would leave a like on this video and subscribe for plenty more Just Cause 4 content and coverage in the future but let's just get stuck into this. The first video is something that we already kind of know about, but it's more of an in-depth look at the brand new alternate fire mode introduced with Just Cause 4. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm your voiceover. So in this episode, Rico will start with the black hands. Don't worry, you have the arm of Rico. Now, it's a machine gun normal, but if you do that... Oh, the fuck! As you guys can see, the fire modes can vary from the simple fire mode change to underbow grenade launchers and deployable shields. I really think it will add more variety and depth to the combat, as the previous games pretty much had a lot of weapons that felt the same. If you wanted a new characteristic to a weapon, you just needed to go and find it. Now, however, you'll be able to feel like a one-man army superhero that you expect Rico to be. I'm not actually sure if gun customization is going to be a thing, but what we can see from the gameplay is obviously most of the weapons are gonna come with two different fire modes, and like I said, that can change drastically the characteristics of the weapon. So you can have an assault rifle, but then all of a sudden you can switch it out for a grenade launcher that's gonna obviously help you deal with some more armored threats, which is really cool to see in Just Cause 4. So these next clips will showcase a brand new magnetic crane. Alors attendez, que je calcule. Ce qu'il me faudrait, c'est un ballon vers le haut et je vais mettre deux réacteurs à l'arrière. Et j'ai pas confiance, je vais mettre plein de ballons. Tu comprends ça Ah Ah ouais. Oh, on voit quoi ça fait. Ah ouais. Attention, j'arrive. As you guys saw from those clips, we will have magnetic cranes in Just Cause 4. I think it's really great to see multi-purpose vehicles making their way into the game. Just Cause games were always about a massive sandbox for player to mess around with and I think vehicles are a big part of it. See more variety in the game and more options and cool features makes me very excited for the game especially for setting up stunts. I already have plenty of ideas and uses for the magnetic crane and other vehicles introduced with Just Cause 4 and I kind of hope in the future they go in the direction of adding crazy DLC vehicles similar to some of the ridiculous stuff that we have seen in GTA 5 like the Oppressor or the Runer 2000 for example. Obviously I'd love vehicles like that to just be free DLC in the future but we'll have to wait and see but like I said it is just really cool to see these brand new vehicles that have different characteristics to them that have like purpose you know you can set up a crane for example so you have a suspended vehicle then you drop that vehicle as you fly down with a plane underneath it and try and obviously not get hit by it. I just think like stunts are gonna be so much cooler with vehicles like these. So this next clip will showcase, I think for the first time, a brand new military truck which looks absolutely insane. It is possibly one of the coolest things I have seen so far. As you guys saw, this is possibly the first look at what I think is one of the cooler land vehicles we have seen in Just Cause 4 so far. It appears to be some sort of a military cannon truck. I mean, the cannon on the back of it looks absolutely insane. This thing is huge. It is just massive. But the question I have about it is how this thing is actually going to control. Are you going to be able to control it from the driver's seat and obviously use the cannon? Or will you have to switch to a designated gunner seat? Or maybe you have to go outside the vehicle and actually mount it yourself. I mean, it does look like the gun will pack quite a punch. It'll be very awesome to potentially also see some sort of different ammo types or different shells for the player to select when controlling the vehicle. Regardless, I'm very happy to see this and get my hands on this and it makes me very excited 
to think what they might have hidden from us. All the new military vehicles, potentially some awesome unique vehicles that we haven't seen before. Once again, we just have to wait and see until the game is obviously out on December 4th. So the next one is a bit of a longer clip showing a combat sequence with a cool new features and additions to the game. And as you guys saw from that sequence, there was quite a few interesting things in it. First was the new invisible enemy types Rico will be facing against. Even though they have active camouflage, they seem to be able to withstand a lot of damage, which is going to be very interesting. They seem extremely powerful. I think since they have active camouflage, you'd expect them to move around a little bit faster, but once you spot them and hit them, you'd want them to die kind of fast. So I'm not sure if that's going to get tweaked or this is how it's going to stay, but anyway, they look pretty cool regardless. Drones are obviously back. As you guys saw, we caught a little glimpse of them in the trailer before, but this is cool to see them. Looks like they are armed with different ammo types. We've seen laser firing ones in the trailer, but it appears like these use missile launchers. So it's going to be cool because I think drones are going to be a real threat in this game. I mean, the enemy AI, like they said, they really worked on it. It's going to be a little bit more challenging. So it's cool to see all of these different enemies making their way to Just Cause 4. Riding drones is obviously back, which will be absolutely amazing for liberating bases and it's just going to be fun in general. For the last clip, I think it's just a great closer look at the tornado and the tornado chasing vehicle. It does appear that it's part of a story mission, so it's cool to see more mission variety as well coming with Just Goes 4. So there isn't really much that I can say about this. Obviously, you guys have seen the tornado. It's pretty much showcased all over their promotional material. It is basically the new key feature of Just Goes 4. But like I said, it's just a really cool clip to get a closer look on how the tornado is going to behave. And that tornado chasing vehicle actually appears to be pretty cool looking. I can't wait to get my hands on that one and see if it's maybe gonna have like some crazy armor on it. So it's gonna be very hard to destroy. But as far as I can tell, those are all the new cool features that I have found looking through these videos. If you guys have spotted something interesting that I have missed, let me know in the comments down below. But anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe for plenty more Just Cause 4 content. The link to all the videos that I have showcased are in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're gonna have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, goodbye, bye-bye, bye-bye.